So as you can see, these cones are designed. They don't go any higher than three yards above the goal line. And what they do is they arc, and then they start to fade or taper toward the sideline. That indicates to our guys exactly the pattern we'd like to follow when we're approaching the goal line, locking up with an offensive player to, to drive them away from the goal, and the cones are basically a pattern for us to follow as we drive that player away from the goal. Again, they're no higher than three yards because we don't ever want to allow an attackman or an offensive player dodging from behind to get above three yards. Earlier in this video, when we began, I, gave, I numbered the field. I show you the important areas of the field. And one of the areas that I put great emphasis on was the area we call the island. The area five yards above and five yards wide of the goal. Well, if you take that area that we discussed then, and you look at this, the field now and where the cones are, the cones don't go any higher than three, and they don't allow you inside of five. So what we're trying to do with the cones is teach our guys to take away all that area above it.